Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Today we have kind of an interesting video. Um, so I've done quite a bit in, I'd say, uh, Path of Exile, this league regarding SSF and Trade League. We have not only played an RF build to level 100, but we've also played a non-RF build. So I'm going to just go ahead and log in and show you guys what we have. So in Settlers League, we have the level 100 RF Chieftain. Did not really get fully min-maxed, but pretty much accomplished whatever it wanted to do. Uh, over here in SSF, we have the level 100 RF Chieftain. You guys have seen updates to this character. Actually stronger than my Trade League character. Very funny. And then we ended up playing an Ephemeral Edge Lightning Striker. Now, I didn't make much content on my YouTube on this, but I've played this a crap ton on my streams. Oh boy, don't mind that. Um, this character was actually able to take down Ubers, but again, like I said, I haven't really done any showcase on it. Instead, what we're going to do ahead, or go ahead and do, we're actually going to make a fresh account and start all over. Now, the reasoning for this is, I actually do like playing Trade League from time to time. It's just too fast, you know? Being able to play Trade League where you're able to exchange currency at will, pretty much engage with whatever juicing strategies you want, is really an awesome feeling, right? You don't really have to take time to set anything up like, say, SSF. You can kind of just go and blast. And for me, setting up a first-time character in Trade League is kind of one of the most enjoying times. I'm not always a big fan of, like, making another character in Trade League. You have all the leveling gear and you kind of zoom. It skips a lot of progression for me. But starting over is something that I always really enjoy. So let's talk about this. We'll be making a brand new, fresh account. And on top of this, we're going to go ahead and buy some needed stash tabs. I don't know exactly which ones we're thinking right now. Um, mapping tab, fragment tab. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see past that. Uh, we'll definitely have to buy more than just those. Uh, we're not going to be allowed to sell anything that cannot be sold via the currency exchange. There are some exceptions that will pop up. For now, the only exception I can think of is T17 maps. And the reason being is a lot of my strategies for Atlas juicing have to do with map drops, and I don't want to just feel forced to run those T17s. Right? The reason I'm playing this challenge is not to feel forced, nearly as restricted as, say, SSF, right? No Divination card gambles are allowed, so we're not going to do a zero to, hero uh, zero to Hero series where we all in on a Doctor card, and then we dupe it, and then we dupe it, and then we dupe it, and then we get a Headhunter, and then sell that. I don't want to do that, right? I want more meaningful progression. All gear must be self-crafted. You are not allowed to buy pre-crafted gear. Now, there's a, there are some exceptions to this, um, where like I'm allowed to buy Fractured bases, but I cannot buy pre-crafted gear. So I'm allowed to buy gloves with fractured, um, you know, life regenerate, and then I can craft them up myself. What's nice about this challenge is I can earn money from my Atlas, exchange that money for crafting materials uh, via Faustus, and then in exchange, use that to craft my gear. And that's kind of how I want everything to go. The only thing is, <clears throat> rare jewels are kind of a bitch to craft, and they're way cheaper to buy. But technically, if I really want to commit to this challenge, I could buy fractured jewels and craft them to be decent. So, not sure if I'm going to allow myself to buy rare jewels or not. This is the question mark. And cluster jewels, a lot of the time, are better to purchase rather than craft. But that's actually not always true. I'm just a bit lazy sometimes. So, this one will probably not be in, and I'll probably have to craft all of the jewels anyway. Uh, I can buy and sell anything that I can fit on the exchange market. Again, unless I'm unless I'm missing something, I think that this is totally fine. I don't think there's any problem here. I am allowed to purchase fractured bases like we talked about before and unique items. Now, the reasoning for unique items is, you know, again, it's Trade League. I don't want to set up an Atlas to farm a one Chaos unique. That's kind of redundant. That's mainly for SSF. Um, and I actually have a list of some items I want to buy, which will pop up here in a minute. I am allowed to use the League Mechanic boats and mappers, so this is something we are allowed to do. As not engaging with the League Mechanic is kind of weird, it's a lot of fun. And even if I don't engage in the League Mechanic, I will still have gold, and that gold can be just used for a variety of things, such as the currency exchange. <clears throat> and then of course here is just saying that I'm allowed to buy Cluster Jewels. I'm not buying a pre-made Cluster Jewel like this would be referring to. Just buying the base, because again, otherwise I have to set up a Delhi Atlas, and I have to specifically go do that. And the reason I don't like this is because um, sometimes you want like an item level 67 or 68 cluster or 66 cluster, which would mean I'm forcing my character to be in T1 maps when I'm capable of like T16. I don't really want to do that. That's more of like an SSF thing for me. Goals. Um, 
So we have like all T17 clearers, potentially all Ubers. This one's a little tricky because I do need to gear the character up quite a bit. Uh, Mage Blood is maybe. It's just some, like a fun goal to work towards if I have extra currency. And then level 100. Then over here, it's just explaining that we're going to focus on league mechanics that drop currency to exchange via Faustus. I don't actually know how to spell his name. So an idea is like T17 maps, strong boxes, scarabs, legion, harbinger, beyond harvest. So to confirm, strong boxes drop currency. Currency goes in the exchange market. Strong boxes also can be a good source of uh, double corrupt or corrupted sixlings, which then go into fusings, which I'm going to need for my cloak of flame. Um, that's another one. Potentially having to link my audio. No, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, scarabs. Scarabs are good in general. You can juice with them. You can sell them. Legion, I don't really know. Depends on the state of the emblems. Harbinger has a lot of gumball currency in general, and this is my favorite strat in the entire game is Harbinger Beyond. Uh, Beyond is actually such an interesting one because... So, Harbinger drops a bunch of currency, right? Like ancient orbs, uh, a whole bunch of random gumball that you basically can sell. The big notable thing from Harbinger are mirror shards and fracturing shards. Now, Beyond is an interesting one because I have so many people who hate Beyond. Beyond is more rippy than every single one of these mechanics. Maybe not Legion. Actually, I'd say Legion because Beyond has Gigafins. The reasoning for Beyond is not just the Beyond currency. Tainted Fusings do sell for a little bit. The reasoning is because this guy plus this guy basically adds another League mechanic worth of monsters. Because when you kill the Harby, the Harby spawns the Beyond, then you kill the Beyond, and then the Beyond drops loot, but then you kill the Harby more, and then the Beyond spawns again, right? So this is just a very fun strategy. Harvest is uh, harvest is kind of boring to me because it's basically just tracking your divine per hour, specifically in trade league. Because all you're going to do is focus on the life force that sells for the most, and then you're just going to count how much life force you get, and then you're just going to sell the life force. This strategy, for example, is a lot more enjoyable because you're getting tinks on the loot filter, right? Things are happening, so these are all just like decent setups. Um, over here, I will be doing this fallen no fire trap setup. Um, I have to start, obviously, with Fire Trap, but I will be pivoting into these Fallen No Fire Trap setup. This Fallen fire, No Fire Trap setup is wonderful for T17 maps, horrible for most Ubers. Um, one Uber specifically that is definitely able to be killed with the setup very, very easily would be Cortex. But other than Cortex, the other ones I've tried have not really worked out very well, so definitely going to have to brute force Ubers with more gear. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where you should be starting this character probably an hour from this video going live. I just got to go make the account, go buy some stash tabs, hype it up, and then we're pretty much ready to go. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if this ends up being a bust, nobody really cares. We'll probably just go back to SF, but I don't really think so. People usually genuinely really like restarts, and I personally really like restarts as well. What's also super cool about this is if I set this account up, then I will have the ability to do future SSF restarts as well without having to like buy a private league for example so this is definitely really cool anyway i'm gonna catch you guys all later hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves also i miss at the beginning good morning so i will catch you guys all later thanks everyone so much for watching don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box except for sundays hope you guys have a wonderful time and i'll see you guys all in raycast